Hello viewers, today I'll show you a totally new and different way to cook the Hilsa fish. I've taken inspiration from the Iranian fish recipe called Mahi Galiye to make my very own hot and sour Hilsa recipe which I've named Irani Ilish. For this recipe, I'll need five Elish fish pieces. As you can see, some of them have eggs in them as well. Hurrah! I love fish eggs. I'll also be using fresh fenugreek or methi leaves, which are essential for this dish, as well as fresh coriander leaves. Here is a close-up of the methi leaves. You need to chop both the herbs up as shown here. I'll also need one diced white onion, four to five cloves of roughly crushed garlic, one teaspoon each of turmeric and red chili powder, four tablespoons of tamarind paste or tetul paste. Let's season the elish pieces with a bit of salt, turmeric and red chili powder. Massage it all into the fish and let the fish rest for 20 minutes. Then heat some oil in a pot and shallow fry the elish pieces as I am showing you here. The fish needs to be nicely golden all around. So flip them over after 2-3 to three minutes to fry the fish on the other side too. Then take them out and that's all the fish shallow fried. In the same pot add the diced white onions and fry them for 2 minutes. Then add the garlic to the pot and give the pot a good stir then add the methi and coriander leaves into the pot and fry for a minute and then it's time to add the powdered spices into the pot and blend them in Then add salt according to your taste and mix it in. Now it's time to add the thick tamarind paste into the pot and blend it in. You should fry only for a half a minute and then add a bit more water into the pot to blend everything together and then it is time to put the hilsa fish pieces back into the pot give them a stir and flip them over then add a bit more water to help the fish cook through then put the lid on and let the pot simmer away for 15 minutes. Make sure you turn the fish over after 10 minutes. And after 15 minutes you can see that the Hilsa fish pieces have cooked through. And our very special Irani Ilish match is ready. Let's plate up this very unusual and different Hilsa fish curry. As you can see it looks totally different from traditional Bengali fish curry dishes. Garnish with a sprig of fresh methi or fenugreek leaf, the star ingredient for this recipe and serve with chelo, the Iranian word for rice, for a truly delicious meal. Once you have tried this hot and sour hilsa fish recipe, I guarantee you that you'll be cooking it again and again. Needless to say, you saw this original fusion Bengali Iranian recipe first here. Hit subscribe for more such recipes. Enjoy!